there's only I one person that can provide the leadership, and that's the President of the United States. No, no sir, there's that only is one not person true. That no, can no, there provide are five. The leadership. He is ra no. Rather than campaigning, he ought to be no. here leading, no. working with people, and talking to folks on both sides of the aisle to get a solution so we don't go over the cliff. I believe no, the President's are, eager to go over the cliff. I, I, I don't believe that at all. There are 535 of us that can provide leadership. There are, five, there are 435 in the House, there are 100 in the Senate, there's the President. All of us have a responsibility here. On the, the 21st of this month, the Wall Street Journal did a, a great piece on, on the inside negotiations uh, over the fiscal cliff, and it said this, quote, uh, referring to President Obama. In an Oval Office meeting last week, he told Mr. Boehner that if the sides didn't reach agreement, he would use his inaugural address and his State of the Union speech to tell the country the Republicans were at fault. It goes on to say, quote, at one point, according to notes taken by a participant, Mr. Boehner told the President, quote, I put $800 billion in tax revenue on the table. What do I get for that? The, res the President responded, you get nothing. I get that for free. Charles? Well, that's not a negotiation. That's... Uh president asserting his primacy. He thought he won it in the election. He knows Republicans are fractured. I think this whole debate about who's to lead is ridiculous. It's not going to, nothing will come out of the House or the Senate. It's all in the president's hands. He will decide exactly what will be presented in the Senate, what Democrats will present. Hey, look, his entire objective up until now was not to pass anything that would help with the debt or the deficit. It was to, to, to destroy the Republicans in the House, to create a civil war. That's what he obviously did by demanding that the one thing he, he would not compromise on was an increase in tax rates, knowing that you could easily have raised the money that he wanted through deductions and credits and loopholes, as he himself has said a year ago. But he insisted on rates, knowing it would cause exactly the kind of civil war it has in, in the House. So, and his objective now of fracturing the one element in Washington that could stop his agenda in the second term has succeeded. So now, having achieved that, he'll decide what he wants. He put out this sort of patch plan to raise the rates on, on those earning over 250000 and to extend unemployment. If, if that's his bottom line, he'll propose it. The Senate will pass it in a flash. And then Republicans in the House will have to decide Obama wins either way. Either it passes in the House or Obama has promised that he will you blame going over the fiscal cliff on Republicans if they resist. So he's completely in their driver's seat, and he'll decide exactly what's going to be on the table on December 31 at 11 o'clock at night. We're back with the panel. We couldn't let Christmas Day pass without a naughty and nice list. Let's start. Um, that quote we saw earlier about the negotiation between Obama and Boehner, where he says, I give you $800 billion, so what do I get? And you get nothing. Leo DeRocher is a great philosopher. Uh, one said, nice guys finish last. He's a nice guy on the fiscal cliff. And uh, naughty, the worst man on the planet is Bashar Assad. 40,000 dead because of him and thousands to come after he's driven out of office. You can't get any naughtier than that. What is his fate in your mind? He, there, there are three fates. Uh, he stays in power, extremely unlikely. He's killed, probably by his own people if he tries to escape. Or he could try to escape to a, a canton that was independent in the 20s, an Alawite province. That's his tribe. It's sort of walled off with mountains around it and sort of and create a mini country, which is possible. It's on the sea, so the Iranians and the Russians could support him. That, I think, is the least likely, but it would create the most chaos because the civil war would continue forever. But he remains a pariah and a marked man. Uh, he should be. And... Uh, Whatever he gets, he deserves, and I don't think it's going to be a good ending. This has been a Sunfish production.